Let's build on our knowledge of dynamic routes and dive into nested dynamic routes. In real-world applications, you will often come across scenarios where you need to handle multiple dynamic segments in your routes. Consider scenario 5. You want to show product details at slash products slash 1, but you also need to display the first review for that product at slash products slash 1 slash reviews slash 1. Let me show you how to set this up with the app router. Previously, we set up the dynamic product ID route. That is why slash products slash 1 already shows product details. Now let's tackle slash products slash 1 slash reviews slash 1. If you're comfortable with file-based routing by now, this next part should click right away. When we are dealing with multiple path segments, we need to think in terms of nested folders. Here's what we will do. First, inside the product ID folder, create a reviews folder. This gives us slash products slash product ID slash reviews. But we are not done yet. We also need a dynamic review ID. So inside this reviews folder, create another folder named review ID within square brackets. Within this folder, create a page.tsx file. Here, let's define a React component that shows both the product ID and review ID. So export default async function product review and we destructure route params. Params is of type promise that resolves to product ID, which is of type string and review ID of type string. Product ID and review ID correspond to product ID are dynamic route and review ID are dynamic route as well. Within the component, we destructure product ID and review ID by awaiting params. We then return an h1 review, review ID, followed by for product, product ID. Now for the fun part. In the browser, navigate to localhost 3000 slash products slash one slash reviews slash one, and you will see exactly what we wanted. Review one for product one. Try changing the URL. Maybe go to product 100 and review ID 5. Watch those IDs update in real time. Review 5 for product 100. We have successfully implemented scenario 5. Here is a visualization to help you picture these nested dynamic routes. Page.tsx within the app folder corresponds to the root. Page.tsx within products corresponds to slash products. Page.tsx within product ID corresponds to slash one. We don't have a list review route and we skip to review ID where page.tsx corresponds to the review ID one slash products slash one slash reviews slash one. The key takeaway here is that you can create nested dynamic routes simply by using dynamic segments with nested folder names. But here is something interesting. Next.js actually has another way to handle multiple dynamic path segments. Before we dive into that, I have an exercise for you. Implement a review listing page for each product. So create a page.tsx file in the reviews folder and list a couple of reviews. Let me know how that goes in the comment section. Supporting the channel is free. Please like and subscribe. It helps a lot.